Hi, my name is Francesca McKenzie. I'm one of the personal trainers here at MedCan. And today we're talking about deep vein thrombosis. Um, a lot of our clients are frequent flyers, especially on a day like today, getting away from the winter weather. Um, so we're gonna talk about why it's important and why you should know about it. Deep vein thrombosis is a potentially fatal condition where a blood clot can form, usually within a deep vein, in the lower calf or usually in the lower limb. Um, symptoms of this, there's usually redness, um, swelling, um, and it's usually hot to the touch. Um, there are ways that we can prevent this, and we're going to talk about these solutions. Number one is hydration. The more water you drink, the less of a risk you have of developing a clot through the veins. So lots of water is always good. Number two is the use of compression socks. Uh, compression socks aid in um, increasing circulation of the superficial veins, so uh, seeking a professional fit might be a great idea for you. Well, basically, compression socks uh, assist, like uh, Francesca alluded to, assist peripheral circulation. Um, so they end up bringing blood flow back to the heart in veins that may start to be struggling with, um, with the valves leaking, and that's the anatomy of the veins we need to talk about. But basically, assisting uh, peripheral blood flow, reducing swelling, reducing edema, reducing um, any possible uh, causes of DVT. So right now we're measuring for knee-high compression socks. It involves three measurements. Firstly, we'll take a measurement just above the ankle bones at the fattest part of the calf, record that, and then from the height of the ground up to the, uh, just below the knee. Number three would be exercise. Simply moving and walking up and down the aisle will increase the blood flow and get the body moving, um, but there's a few exercises that I would like to recommend. So the first stretch I'm doing here is stretch of the outer calf muscle. Um, all you're going to do is lean against the wall for one foot forward and one foot back and just gently lean your weight towards the wall. So you're stretching the calf that's behind and then there's a second way to stretch that calf muscle and that's by simply placing your toe up against the wall and leaning your body weight towards the wall. The third thing is toe raises. So what I'm doing is just leaning against the wall, step your feet out about approximately a foot away slowly lift your toes as high as you can towards your knees and down. Hopefully you found this uh, video quite helpful for you. If you've experienced any symptoms or if you're interested in more information, please contact one of our MedCan physicians. Safe travels!